Hi guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am having a spectacular day. Praise God, it's a beautiful day and I hope you guys are enjoying your day today. I just wanted to hop on right quick and I just wanted to share a little something with you guys um, that God had put in my spirit about there's some great things happening. What is that song? I know you guys know this song. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Now, I'm not a singer, but I know the Jacksons or Michael Jackson, one of them, one of them guys sung that song, but it's something that's great that is happening. God is going to blow our minds. Do you hear me? How many of you guys believe that God is going to blow your mind? I believe that and if you're in unity with me on today, we're in unity on today. God is about to do something great. God is about to do something amazing. We got to believe that God has something great in store for us. No matter what we are experiencing, no matter what we see, no matter what we hear, we got to believe that God has something great in our lives that's going to blow our mind. Because God word declares that he would do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we think, thought, imagine, or say. So the prayers and things that you've been asking for, God said, I'm going to exceed that very thing. Hallelujah. He's going to exceed it. He's going to make it big. God is a big God. We serve a big God. Hallelujah. So we got to know that God is doing something great and something awesome. And God also wanted me to let you guys know that there are some instructions that God is giving each and every last one of us. We got to obey the instructions of God. We have to obey what God is telling us in this season, in the seasons on ahead of us. Because <laughs> not just in this season, in this day and time, we want to hear God because his word declares, he that has the ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. We are the church and we got to hear what God is saying. We got to get, get out of our emotions we got to get out of how we feel and what we think and what we see and allow God to speak to us and hear him and obey him even when we don't understand. Even when those instructions don't seem like they are fitted as to what we are used to doing. Because sometimes we just so used to doing certain things. But see, it's kind of out of the thing and out of the norm that we're used to. But don't just qu don't question it. Just do what God, even when you're nervous, even when you're scared, just do it. Because it's a great reward in the end. Amen. So God is just want each and every one of you guys to know that he is putting instructions. And whatever, and whatever those instructions is that God is giving you and telling you, you have to obey God. Obey him, obey him, obey him. And I just want to read a couple of scriptures um, as opposed to, you know, just, just hearing the instruction of God. Amen. Psalms 32, 8 says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. Now, he's not saying that he's going to guide you with your eyes. See, sometimes we see things and seeing things that we think we're seeing and really not seeing. You know, what may seem right in our eyes is really not right. So a lot of times we see things and it's really not what we see. So God said he would instruct us and he would teach us. Holy Spirit would teach us. He would teach us. He would guide us. Amen. We got to know. We got to allow Holy Spirit to lead and guide us in every step of the way. Because God will lead and guide us in the right direction. Sometimes we do things and we go places that we shouldn't go. We are still attached to people that we should be detached from. You know, because why it's uncomfortable. We don't want to make people mad or we don't want them to say things about us. But God is saying, I'm trying to separate you because where I'm getting ready to take you. And who cares if they don't understand? Who cares? A lot of things we don't understand what God is doing, but we have to obey the voice of God. You know, we say all the time that we, you know, we give our bodies unto God as a living sacrifice, holy, honorable, and acceptable unto him. We say that we quote that, but are we really living out? 
because God will also declare us not only be hearers of the word, but also doers. You know, we got to give our mind, we got to give our heart, our eyes, our ears unto God. Because yeah, we, all of this, all of our, everything that's in us belongs to God. We just got to give it to him, willingly give it to God. We got, we have to give it to him. So in this time and season, obey the voice of God. Trust me when I tell you there is a great reward in the end. There's a greater reward. And um, I also had a couple of more scriptures. Let's see. Um, Proverbs 8.32 and 36 reads, now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. He say, blessed are they that keep my ways. Not our ways, not our children's ways, not our friends' ways, not our spouse's ways, his ways, God's ways. That's what he's saying here. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. My goodness, that's good. <laughs> Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. You know, he, right here is saying, refuse the, do not refuse the instruction that is given to you. Even though you may not understand that, that instruction or may feel like or look like a hard thing to you. But and obey the voice of God. Obey him, I'm telling you, if you just give him a try. And let and allow him to do what he's doing in your life. Allow, because he sometimes we've been we've been living and we've been so comfortable and complacent in the places and that we've been in and used to doing things the way we used to do it. We are in a place where we're doing things totally different. I mean, there is just a total shift. If you allow God to shift you, if you're allowing him to shift you in your mind and your heart and your spirit and allow him and in your obedience, because sometimes we can be holding up our own things and we want to blame everything on the devil. We want to bind the devil on this and we want to bind the devil on that. We want to rebuke this and want to rebuke that. But all God is telling you is just obey. <laughs> That's all he's saying. Just obey me. You go, And a lot of times it's like you're going around all these other things but not really seeing the true thing. Because why? You want to do it your way. It's no longer your way. It's no longer your way. It's God's way. And his way is the best way. Because it, it declares in the word of God, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Because a lot of times we do it our way, and at the end is death. Because we do it our way. We do it our way. <laughs> we have to totally submit to the voice of God. Totally submit to the voice of God. Okay, in uh, 34 reads in Proverbs 8, 32 through 36. It said, Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting on the post of my doors. For whosoever findeth me findeth life. My God, that's good. For whosoever findeth me find life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. <laughs> that's the word in itself. My God, that's good. That is so good. For whosoever findeth me. My goodness. Whosoever findeth me. When I tell you, when you find God and you look for him. I mean, you know. When I say look for him, you have to seek him with all your heart, with all your might. You got to seek God. You got to seek him. You have to have, because I'm telling you, God is releasing a new hunger and a new thirst. Hallelujah. It's not like a new hunger and thirst like it's been before. This is a new hunger. So don't go back grabbing and trying to find him in the way that you that you had found him before. Because it's a totally different way where God, where you are, where there are things where you are, um, walking in into the things of God there are going to be experiences that you have had that you've never had with God so there's a there's a new place that God is shifting us to there's a new place in his kingdom he's releasing new keys 
And I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind what God is getting ready to do. Just obey his voice. Amen. 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 And let me finish reading scripture. I just, I just get so happy when, I mean, just reading this word. I'm telling you, this is so awesome. And 36 reads. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I did read it. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. See, when you obey the voice of God, oh, favor is with it. <laughs> That's what it is. You will have favor with man and with God. My God, favor is better than money. You hear me? Favor will take you places that will blow your mind. Favor will get, get, uh, take you through doors that you would never, never, ever think of or imagine. My God, that is awesome. So 36 also reads, it says, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that they hate me love death. Hmm. See, uh, the word of God also say, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. You know, we say every day we love God. None of us are perfect. See, God is not looking for a perfect person. But you want to do everything in your heart to please God. Everything in your heart to please him. Every step of the way. You want to please God. You know, so, you know, you would do everything that God is instructing you to do to please him. And this goes back to the instructions of God. Even though it feels like a hard thing. I'm telling you, there's nothing too hard from God, for God. Sometimes, you know, the enemy plant those seeds in our mind and he try to bring discouragement. He tries to bring all these different things in our, in our mind and our heart about certain things and say, oh, oh, oh you know, is this the right thing? Or uh, if I make this move or what they're going to say, you know, mm -mm. no, 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 no. When you know it's the voice of God, you move on it. You don't question it. You don't think about it. And now sometimes it may come up. Don't get me wrong. But you still do it when you're scared. You still do it when you're nervous. You still do it when you're frightened. You still do it and obey the voice of God. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen? Obedience is better than sacrifice. My God. So, you know, when you're not following the instructions of God, it's basically saying you wrong with your own soul. Because why God is instructing us for a reason. We may not see our way. He would just give us parts, look, you know, pieces here and pieces there. But if you obey the voice of God, he will begin to open up even more what he's doing in your life. You will begin to see what he's doing in your life. You'll begin to understand even more what God is doing in your life. Amen. So I just want to get on here right quick. I don't want to be before you long. Um, cause I am really enjoying my day and, um, I don't want to hold you guys up, but I just, uh, had that on my heart what God put in my spirit. Um, and I just hope this word just really, um, encourage you in a way that you obey voice, obey the voice of God and watch the hand of God move in your life. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he will move in miraculous ways in miraculous ways it's all about instructions and i'm just going to go back to say i mean just like things have um like if you're baking a cake you don't you don't want to miss out on those instructions that is bought for like the eggs the oil the water you don't want to miss none of those instructions because if you miss those instructions the cake is really messed up it's it's it don't it's not going to taste the same it's not uh, and that's the truth to it. And that's how it is with the things of God. We have to obey the voice of God. We can't do it the way we want to. And then go and um, do partially what God has said. We have to fully do what God has said. We have to fully walk in what God has told us to do. And when God tell you to take this thing away and take that away, we have to do it. Even when it hurts. I always say pain is power. You know, we, you know, we all, we so used to, you know, when we're uncomfortable and we were not feeling too good, you know, like I said before, we want to blame the enemy. We want to blame the devil. It's not him. It's God. It's God shifting you and changing you. But if you really want the shift and the move of God and you want to please God with all your heart, you will obey the voice of God. So in this time, I'm telling you today on today by the Holy Spirit, 
Obey the instructions of God. Obey, 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 obey. That's all I'm hearing from the spirit of the Lord. Obey the voice of God. Because at the end, there is a great reward. Amen. You guys be blessed. I love you all. Have a blessed day.